You, ordinary fetishists, believe you are free, but in reality you are acted on by forces you are not conscious of. Look at them. Look, you blind idiot. Lateur. Only the ones who can recognize those forces observe them with insight and with great insight into causality may find traces of their own vision that they pursue respite what the rest thinks. And that is the prime objective of a magician to pursue his vision, to forge a vision, to coin it and to follow it. Whether others follow it is another thing. Whether you try to enforce your vision on others is yet another thing. This citation was found in a book that I highly recommend. It was written by James Curcio, Narrative Machines, Modern Myth, Revolution and Propaganda. He also wrote an excellent book called Babylon Burning, The Fallen Nation. Now, however, in this lecture I would like to focus on the noosphere. Noosphere is a concept that I try to propagate since years and I've seen that in July 2020 all of a sudden it caught the eyes of some people. This is a research task force uh, conjured by Rand Corporation and is an article called Whose Story Wins, Rise of the Nose for No Political Information Aid Statecraft by David Ronfeld and John Aquila. So what is the Nose The Nose is the collective of all your thoughts, ideas, inclinations of ideas, history of ideas, everything you can think, feel, propagate and so on. And it is uh, a new paradigm of warfare, a new paradigm of information warfare that is slowly taking grounds in the modern world. Let us first define the term Noosphere. It emerged when French theologian and paleontologist Pierre Tillard de Chardin, French mathematician Edward Leroy, and visiting Russian geochemist Vladimir Vernansky met in Paris in 1922 to speculate whether, because of humanity's growth, Earth would ultimately evolve a new layer and all evolving also. That already happened with solid state intelligence and the informational eight sphere, the cyber sphere. They had defined the Nosfer as a globe circling realm of the mind, a tin king circuit, in the latter words of his colleague Julian Huxley, a web of living thought and a common pool of thought that will lead to an interthinking humanity. That is also the basis for the all wronged hive project that tried to turn humans into meat machines telepathically interlinked, like some abominations. Well, humanity was never a hive and was never meant to be a hive. Think of it more like in uh, Macrobius Saturnalia. A symposium, a symposium of critically thinking responsible people that exchange ideas towards the precise elevation, towards common grounds and enriching each other with such a, a idea exchange. Now, since then, the rise of the internet has excited a sense among media theorists and prophets of the information age that cyberspace is providing a technical foundation for the emergence of the Nosfer. Now, Nosfer in the esoteric concept was already there. However, in the information age with all the cyber toys, the Nosfer also developed into the technological age sphere. So what do we have here? No politics as an approach to statecraft. Since then, since 1999, other strategists have proposed kindred concepts, cyber politic, net politic, info politic, information engagement, information statecraft, information geopolitics. Since then, uh, and even earlier, narration, narration institutes are working on a full scale and feeding it to the mass media and infotainment and all forms of, let's say, movie industry, sitcom industry, serious industry, it's all regulated. And if you want to regulate a crowd, feed them entertainment that will change their paradigms and ways of thinking or accustom them to certain things before you want to pursue a certain policy, technological policy, administrational policy, governmental policy, and so on, so on. So if you want to see where the governments are heading and what they try to do, look towards infotainment and entertainment, because most likely 
the uh, large budget movies are there to accustom people to certain things. According to Taylor, the forces of the mind had been producing grains of thought and other pieces of the noosphere for ages. Increases in social complexity were also laying the groundwork for the noosphere's emergence. Thus, the noosphere was on the verge of achieving a global presence, its varied compartments and cultural units beginning to fuse. Taylor Folder posited that once a synthesis occurs, peoples of different nations, races and cultures will experience unimaginable degree of organized complexity and of reflexive consciousness. A planetary monoculturation will take shape, yet somehow without people losing their personal identity and individuality. Now, as we know, the latter sentence is completely wrong, because individuality is preserved through individuation, and to perform individuation, you need certain components that are not a blend of everything with everything that is dispossessing you of true individuation and is replacing it with a fake individual facade. What is no politic? It is an approach to diplomacy and strategy for the information age that emphasizes the shaping and sharing of ideas, values, norms, laws and ethics through soft power. What ideas, values, norms, laws and ethics are decided to be optimal to propagate through societies are a completely different thing. Now, politics is guided more by conviction that right makes for might than the obverse. Both states and non-state actors may be guided by no politic, but rather than being state-centric, its strength may well stem from enabling state and non-state actors to work conjointly. The driving motivation of no politic cannot be national interest defined in status terms. National interest will still play a role, but should be defined more in the society-wide than state-centric terms and be fused with broader, even global interests in enhancing the transnationally networked fabric in which the players are embedded. While real politics tends to empower states, no politics will likely empower networks of state and non-state actors, as China perfectly knows. Real politic pits one state against another, but no politic encourages states to cooperate in coalitions and other mutual frameworks. Wrong. It encourages power players to cooperate. In all these respects, no politic contrasts with real politic. Now, I would like to bring your attention to that because we are living in an age when everything is possible. If Goebbels will be equipped with the internet, with the network of the modern age, his propaganda would work like that. Now, each time you encounter a piece of information, value, idea, virtue of whatsoever sort, question it, be skeptical, rethink it. Look towards the history of ideas, how it developed, because if you are the prisoner of the present, then you're as good as being a subject to power. Citing Goethe, those who do not know at least 3,000 years of histories of various civilizations and cultures, and trace the changes in socio-historical frameworks and ideas and so on and so on, are the ever prisoners of the present. It's a rather sad reflection of the modern day that most of us living in the current time and age are the prisoners of the present. And if you're a prisoner of the present time, you can be fed with any possible lie that is instituted by power brokers. Thank you.